Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have Edge version 137 that's rolling out, which is now our latest release, which was made available late yesterday in my region on the 29th of May. Now to check we have the update, we head to our main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And latest version and build is now on 137.0.3296.52. Now there's quite a lot going on with this update, but first of all, just to focus on the security fixes that have rolled out for Microsoft Edge. And with this update and for this week, for the Chromium open source platform, which the browser is based on, we get 11 security fixes that have rolled out. And that's comprised of two high severity vulnerabilities, which are listed as user after free in compositing and out of bounds right in V8, that's the V8 JavaScript engine. And then we get a couple of mediums and a couple of lows. So 11 security fixes have rolled out in total for the Chromium open source project, which the browser is based on. Then over and above that, there is a fix where Microsoft says it's fixed an issue which affected users with the auto hidden sidebar visibility setting and caused the Outlook or Teams links to not show site pane content as expected. So that's a bit of a niggly issue that's been sorted out. And then as I have posted previously, Microsoft is deprecating some of the features in Microsoft Edge, where the following Microsoft Edge features are being deprecated and are scheduled for removal by mid to late May. Now I have posted on this, but just a quick recap. The first one is image editor, image hover menu, mini menu, video super resolution, and the wallet hub. And there's also changes been made to the wallet. Now I've posted a whole video on that, that Edge 137 will debloat and deprecate those features. I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more info. That was just a quick recap. And Microsoft has also mentioned that there are picture in picture enhancements where if you just head to picture in picture mode, if you hover over the video, you click on picture in picture, Microsoft says now that you can pause play, skip forward, skip backwards, and seek on the progress bar now, right from picture in picture window. So those are a couple of um, controls that have been added, which I actually think is a move in the right direction and that's rolled out now with version 137. Now over and above that guys there are a couple of changes and improvements rolling out for Edge for Business which I don't think will be of much um, interest to your average home user which are listed in the change log but something that wasn't officially listed for this actual 137 release but I have posted on previously is the new copilot mode which i see in both my edge browsers on both my windows devices has now rolled out to the stable version with the 137 update so now you'll see if you head to your profile you've got copilot mode and you can toggle that on from the drop down fly out and then what this does it introduces an ai mode called copilot mode that replaces the new tab page with AR features. So you'll see now that when you when you open up a new tab page, it doesn't open up the so-called normal new tab page. It opens up Copilot mode with AR features. And I'll leave a video I posted on this link down below and in the end screen. I have actually posted quite a bit of content on this, so just do a search if you want more info. But basically you can ask copilot right from the new tab page you've got search and chat which is default best for exploring the web you've got quick response and you've got think deeper you've got your little quick links to different services here at the bottom click on the gear icon you can hide those quick links you can enable them and if you click on manage copilot mode it takes you to the settings but just to take note though that unlike in the preview which has got copilot mode in the Canary version, which has got copilot mode here as an entry. There is no copilot entry in the settings at this stage. 
The only way you can enable and disable Copilot mode is from this toggle, as far as I'm aware. I have had a quick look around and I'm not seeing any other toggle for Copilot mode in the stable. So that's the only real difference between the preview version and the stable version now. So go check it out. Copilot mode is now available for everyone in version 137. So quite a big change, but thankfully, if you don't like AI or wouldn't find this to be useful, you can thankfully toggle it off. And if you do toggle it off, if you open up a new tab, we can see everything is back to normal. So that's more or less, guys, what is new in version 137 of Microsoft Edge. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.